Hey there, I'm Eli. And I'm... Also Eli. No, I'm, I'm Maddie. Welcome to Blue TV. Here's a reminder that Fellowship of Christian Athletes meets every Friday in the community room, so come on down and join us. The Harry Potter Club will meet Thursday the 29th for a Halloween feast. Come join us and feel free to bring a treat. For example, like chocolate frogs or cold room cakes. See you there. To all junior and senior female students who are at the student STEM fields, the University of Cincinnati will be will be hosting a Women in Engineering and Technology Day on October 28th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're interested, you can get more information in the counseling office. Jewett's Do It Club will be hosting its first trip of the year this Sunday. We will be headed up to the Renaissance Festival. We will depart Hamilton High at 11 a.m. and return late afternoon slash early evening. It is the last day for the Renaissance Festival, so don't miss your chance to go. It's not too late to sign up either, so see Mr. Eaton for details. This Friday... So, tomorrow, October 23rd, from 3 to 4, will be the next Buddies activity in room 521, Mrs. Anderson's room. Buddies is a group who is interested in helping out children who need it. Meet and make some new friends and have fun painting pumpkins, playing games, and making cookies. There will be a meeting for Cardboard City in Ms. Ogley's room, which is 305, after school on Tuesday, October 27th. We will be discussing t-shirt design, theme for the event, and sponsorship goals. For more questions, well, four questions, please see Miss Oakley in room 305, like before, or tweet at Miss Oakley HHS. If you purchase pictures from the homecoming dance, please stop by Mr. Heineke's room 625 before or after school to pick up your pictures. If you are signed up to take the ACT on Saturday, remember to bring a photo ID. This can be a driver's license or your school ID. You will also need to print the printout of the ACT ticket. We'll have our first pep assembly of the year highlighting our fall athletes before the football game versus Fairfield on Friday, October 30th. We will operate on an early release schedule and the pep assembly will take place during the last hour of the school day. During the pep assembly, we will be hosting the Fall Blue Olympics. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors and staff members will compete in minute to win it style games for the honor of wearing the blue medal. If you are interested in representing your class in the pep assembly next Friday, please sign up in Mrs. Mrs. Raymond's room, which is room 156, by the end of the school day on Monday. The girls' basketball team will be holding tryouts this Friday, 3.15 to 5.30, and Saturday, 12 to 2.30. Please see Coach Dungeon, I always get this one, in room 4.30 if you have any questions. To all boys, including football players and other fall sport athletes, there will be a mandatory basketball meeting Thursday in Coach Beck's room, well, that's today, 2.02 immediately after school. If you plan on trying out for the team this season, you will need to sign up on this day, today. The meeting will be very brief. There will be a short meeting on Tuesday, October 27th, after school in Coach Lewis's room, 423, for boys interested in playing baseball this season. Calling all male athletes interested in playing men's volleyball this year, open nets are being held at Highland Elementary on Monday and Thursday afternoons from 3.30 to 5.30. Please note, an attacked volleyball, a.k.a. a spike, can reach speeds of over 100 miles per hour at the upper level of play. Nice. If you're timid or frightened of a ball hitting like of a ball like hitting at you at that speed, please reconsider your options of athletic participation. For those who are not so easily intimidated, Coach Stacy is looking forward to meeting you. Bye. 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 Cheerio. Peace. Bye. See you.